So I don't know if you all watched Boy Meets World growing up as I did, since I am very, very old. But I watched it, and it was okay. It was more of a mid-show, like when I tuned in to TGIF every Friday night. Um, it wasn't my favorite show. I much preferred Family Matters, Step by Step, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. But this was one that I watched. And Corey from um, Boy Meets World, I don't know his real name, he's running for Congress now. So he went on CNN to talk about his campaign. And I just have to point out that it's it's insufferable to watch celebrities run for Congress because they're getting attention that like normal people would not get had they decided to run for Congress. Like I brought on dozens, maybe over 100 political candidates who are running for office on my show, and they all struggle to get any attention whatsoever by the mainstream media. But this dude, because he was on Boy Meets World, he automatically gets a CNN interview. It's just, it's really frustrating, right? Because Congress is supposed to be a body representative of normal working class people. I get it. It's a joke, right? We're talking 2023 America here. But in theory, that's the way that it's supposed to function. But like, you can't get a fair shake if you're just a normal person. But if you're some dude who was on uh, Boy Meets World 50 years ago, all right, come on, we'll, we'll let you share why you're running for Congress. And I watched part of this. I just get the sense that this dude is very milk toast, right? I pulled up his website, so we're going to look over what he stands for in a moment here. But there's nothing special about him that warrants this coverage of his campaign at the national level compared to any other candidate. He's just getting brought on because he's Topanga's boyfriend. And just like his character on the hit 90s sitcom Boy Meets World, actor Ben Savage is seeking a new role in the world of politics, running as a Democrat to become a member of Congress for the California seat currently held by Congressman Adam Schiff, who's making a run for the Senate. Ben Savage joins me now. Hey, Ben. Thanks for joining us. Being a, a, an actor in Hollywood it seems like it would be a lot more fun than being a congressman. Why would you want to do this? Thanks for having me, Jake. Um, <clears throat> well, Jake, I haven't, <laughs> I haven't had a job in quite some time, in <laughs> and I'm bored, so... That's why. I think because I think we need new and positive leadership in D.C. Um, I grew up in a home that was very passionate about politics. President Kennedy was revered in my household. Um, we were always taught to... This reminds me of that scene from The Office where um, Andy Bernard thinks that his family is related to Michelle Obama and his girlfriend Erin at the time is like, oh my God, what if, what if she asks me... What's your stance on politics? What am I going to say? <laughs> or what's your thoughts on politics or something like that? It's very generic, very broad. For our country and our community. And I want to see that in Washington, D.C. I want to see positive, optimistic leaders who are there to fix things, uh, get things done, and do some good in Washington. So wow. That, <laughs> that, that convinces me. I want to go to D.C. and do good things. Oh, well, fuck, finally! Where have you been? Why hasn't somebody decided to go to D.C. on the platform of doing good things? I just feel like, look, he seems like a perfectly nice guy. You've got to have some better reason than that, right? Because right now, it just seems like you're bored. That's it. Yeah, so far, he said nothing. Exactly. Artillery has nailed it there. He said nothing. Best platform ever. I'm for good things and against bad things. Oh, standing ovation, sir. Isn't your first run for political office. Last year, you ran and lost a race for the West Hollywood City Council. What did yeah. you learn from that experience? And, and why do you think this campaign will be any different? That was a wonderful experience for me. It was my first uh, time running for office, so I certainly learned a lot. But uh, West Hollywood was a very passionate community. I had a great time, and uh, I think I want to bring my message of positivity and bringing people together to Washington. Why oh, do you wow, a message of positivity and bringing people together in Washington. That's going to work really well. That's going to work so fucking great. Hi, I'm Ben Savage. You may remember me from Boy Meets World. I was Topanga's boyfriend. The Republican immediately starts shitting themselves and filming at the mouth and spits in his face. Oh, well, see? Whoa, that wasn't very great. But, uh, you know, I do believe that we can work together. And this is the beginning of a very fruitful relationship. He's so naive. This really does seem to me that, like, mental-wise, like... He's still in that Corey mindset. Like, he has the mentality of a 12-year-old or however old Corey was when the show ended. 
this is just very stupid. You're bringing positivity to DC. I don't know what that means. From a policy standpoint, what does positivity look like? Because it sounds like you're running for school president, and this isn't what you would expect from a political campaign. Win that race, and you'll win this one. You know, that was my first time running, and uh, I was a little new to the political scene in D.C. Uh, I'm sorry, in uh, West Hollywood. And uh, I think I want to kind of bring my message to a larger audience um, and uh, see, see how well we can do. But we're very excited. We've gotten a very positive reception, and uh, I think people are very enthusiastic about having some new, fresh leadership. We've gotten a positive reception, the reception being, hey, aren't you Corey from Boy Meets World? So I was thoroughly unimpressed by this two minute clip that we've seen. To be fair, it was more like one minute, 30 seconds since we couldn't watch the first part of it because that featured copyrighted content. But let's look at his platform here. Um, I feel like I'm being a little bit too harsh, but everything about him screams mediocrity. But let's see his priorities. So uh, I support a robust public safety presence to keep the community safe and vibrant. Okay, let's pause right here. Corey, this is the first thing that we see when you when we go to your priorities page. And your very, very first priority is more cops. Are you fucking kidding me, Corey? More cops. That's the number one thing that you want all of us to see. Strike number one, affordable housing. Okay, that's good. Um, it's an issue worthy of our time and requires innovative thinking towards presenting realistic solutions. I'm in favor of build, build, build while being mindful of the effects of growth on our communities, infrastructure, environment, and traffic. I mean, we're already building. There's a fuck ton of empty houses. I mean, okay, but let me get to the solutions before I shit on this. Um, he is an advocate for renters' rights, protections for tenants, and affordable options for our most vulnerable Great. But if you really want to make housing affordable, then why not offer a public option? So that way, if these private companies don't care about giving people places to live and profit is their number one priority, why not make them compete with the government? Create affordable public housing that people can rent in lieu of private housing. Why do they have to go to the market for that? If you really care about housing, then why isn't that an option? Protect organized labor. Okay, that's good. He supports unions. Um, reinvigorate our economy. Encourage entrepreneurship by making it simpler to start and run a small business. What does that mean? Tax cuts. A lot of this is very like LARPy to me. Like it feels like he's a high school student who's doing this for his final project. Um, education. Universal free school meals, great. They already have that in California. Uh, maybe nationally, free universal pre-K, free community college. Okay, this is where I'm going to give you another strike. Free community college. Just say free college. All public colleges should be tuition free. Why can't we go that extra step? Why can't you do that? See, this is where I get irritated by these milk toast Democrats who propose a lot of nibbling around the edges, a lot of incrementalist reforms, but never full-throated reforms that would address the root causes of the issues that they talk about. Okay, we must restore trust in government. We must restore civility. Oh, that, I'm fucking getting wet. Talk about civility and whoo, that's fucking, oh. Nothing I want to hear more than than fucking civility at, at a time when fascism is coming to the country. Bring back mutual respect amongst neighbors, regardless of political affiliation. Okay, strike three, you're out. Just with this nonsense right here, you are so naive to think that Republicans aren't going to shit down your throat the second you arrive in Congress. That tells me right there alone that you don't know what the fuck you're getting yourself into, okay? They don't give a fuck about your civility or decorum or respectful demeanor to them. They don't care about that. What their goal is to do is to deliver for their donors and simultaneously inflict as much pain as possible on the American people. And on top of that, there is a majority of Democrats who want to do the same fucking thing, albeit in a more polite fashion. So for you saying, oh, we're going to get to I'm going to get to Congress and we're going to sing Kumbaya and hold hands. That tells me that you are so naive that the thought of you running for Congress is fucking insane to me. Healthcare, affordable healthcare. Oh, that's a great word. 
affordable health care. Let's hear what the fucking probably millionaire child act actor thinks is affordable. But as your congressman, I will support and advocate for a functional universal health care system that works and is held accountable with checks and balances. OK, what does that mean, though? A functional universal health care system and it's held accountable with checks and balances. What in the fuck does that even mean? I can't even begin to fathom what point he's trying to make here. And let's be very clear. When he says universal healthcare system, this doesn't mean what it used to mean. This doesn't mean healthcare should be free at the point of service. Otherwise, he would have said specifically he supports Medicare for all. But universal can mean, oh, universal in the sense that we lower the cost so much that everyone can get it and it's effectively universal. It's basically a weasel word, right? You know how Kyle Kalinske always talks about weasel words? This is one of the main weasel words right here, okay? And as, uh, as a member of Congress, he would do these things. So in other words, not do Medicare for all. If I go to your healthcare section and I don't see Medicare for all, strike one, two, and three, you're out. If you don't support Medicare for all, then you think it's appropriate for thousands of Americans every single year to die. Maybe you don't think it's appropriate, but you think that it's acceptable, right? And if you don't support Medicare for all, I don't support you. Go fuck yourself, Corey. Women's rights, codify Roe v. Wade. Okay, great. Environmental protection, support environmental regulations that keep us safe, clean, and prosperous. Okay, great. Oppose offshore drilling. Okay, that's good. Um, embracing diversity, expanding equality. Um, he's a proud ally to the LGBTQ plus community. Awesome. And gun violence. When is enough enough? Ban weapons of war. So listen, overall, this platform is extremely unimpressive. I mean, you talk about bringing new faces, new leadership to Congress. But this is the same fucking things that other milquetoast corporate Democrats support. You're running for Adam Schiff's seat. So how are you different in any meaningful way than Adam Schiff? Are you just going to support the same milquetoast incrementalist policies? I mean, it's just this kind of shit irritates me. So this is not really a serious candidate, but because he's Topanga's boyfriend, well... He's being taken, uh, taken seriously by the mainstream media. But yeah, positivity. It's great. It's great. Um, do you support maybe a girl for Schiff's seat? I mean, if maybe a girl is running for Schiff's seat, hell yeah. Over Corey, Ben is a shit lib. Well said, James, from the internet. This is what an actual shit lib looks like. You know, all of the uh, Jimmy Dore sycophants will run around calling other lefties. Um shit libs but like this is quintessential shit libery right here where you have this dude topanga's boyfriend slash husband i can't remember how the show ended the brother of eric student of mr feeney who is just fucking proposing not even the bare minimum he doesn't even support medicare for all fuck you maybe i'm being a little bit too hard on him but um fuck you cory and fuck your wife too, Topanga. Didn't Corey's wife, Topanga, wasn't she involved in some weird ass crypto scheme? I should look into that. Or her husband was? Let me see here. Topanga. Topanga husband. Scandal? I don't know what the, there was something going on there. Oh, it was this weird ass story. So do you all remember this? God damn, the ad's taking up half the fucking screen. Okay. Viral Cinnamon Toast Crunch Shrimp Tail Guy is actually married to Topanga from Boy Meets World, and the internet is losing it. Right. So, there's a dude who claimed that there was shrimp tails in his cereal. Why did I think that he was involved in a crypto scam, by the way? I, I just feel like maybe that's the go-to for celebrities nowadays. One fan guessed how this scenario would have played out on Boy Meets World. Corey Matthews would absolutely have found shrimp tails in his cereal and had no idea what to do with until Topanga showed up, a person wrote. That's stupid. Um, I don't know if this turned out to be a hoax or anything like that, but yeah. Topanga is married to the guy who found... <laughs> so, she's married to the guy who found shrimp tails in his Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
Well, you know what, Topanga? That's what you get for leaving Corey. You were a perfect couple and you fucked it up. So, yeah. I'm gonna come. Do not come. 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 Welcome to the Come Zone. Come. 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 Come.